morning friends, it's Dr. Rajendra Paul. I'm a consultant in hematology with expertise in bone marrow transplant and cardiotherapy. I've trained in UK and worked in practice there for 20 years. So today I'm going to do an introductory talk on lymphoma. So what is lymphoma? Lymphoma basically is a cancer of the white cells uh, in the bone marrow and the lymph nodes whereby these organs are involved and typically your patient will present with a swelling in the lymph gland for example in the neck or a lump in the armpit or the groins. Sometimes it can be incidental as well. The patient himself might detect or somebody else points out to the patient that there is a lump I can see in your neck area. Please go and consult the doctor. The usual symptoms are fever, lack in appetite, loss in weight, extreme fatigue or exhaustion, sweating, rashes and itching. So whenever a patient with lymphoma-like symptoms comes to me, I will assess the patient in detail, do some special blood tests, scans, plus minus a PET scan and a lymph gland biopsy. Gone are those days, those days where a lymph gland biopsy was done with one sample and looked under the microscope and the diagnosis was made. Now, because of advanced techniques, we can send the samples to a variety of tests and the tests like flow cytometry and PCR tests can detect one lymphoma or cancer cell in tens of thousands of normal cells. So these are quite sensitive tests. We can also study the genes affected in lymphoma. All this baseline information will help us to assess the prognosis um, about the patient, how he will do on chemotherapy, off chemotherapy. We can select chemotherapy drugs based on the biopsy, specific results and give appropriate targeted therapy. It will also give us information about the survival of the patient, how long he will take to respond, when it will relapse and what is the success and the failure rates in each particular lymphoma. As you know, there are different types of lymphomas. In fact, in the latest WHO classification, there are more than 60 different types of lymphoma. So treatment depends on which lymphoma is diagnosed. For example, low-grade lymphoma, we can just watch and wait, and that can last for 5 years, 10 years, or even 15 years in somebody not needing treatment at all. But in high-grade lymphoma, we need to treat it urgently because that is life-threatening. In terms of lymphoma needing treatment, it is treated with chemotherapy but with more advanced drugs which are mainly targeting the lymphoma. So this is called as targeted chemotherapy. Some patients who don't respond will need a different line of chemotherapy called as salvage chemotherapy plus minus a stem cell transplant. And only those who don't respond to stem cell transplant may need a CAR T therapy. So friends, if anybody has lymphoma or lymphoma-like symptoms, please do get in touch with me. I'll be very happy to help and support you throughout your diagnosis and management. Thank you.